Hey there, I'm Lawrence from Iwood Cosplay and this is part 3 of Bakugo's Gauntlet where I show you how to paint the silver and the green on the shelves. So, let's get into it. So these are the gauntlets I built from part 2. Here I've already sealed it with two coats of Plasti Dip and let that dry overnight. So the next thing we need to do is mask off the shelves so that we can paint the trim silver. What we will need for that is some masking tape, an X-Acto blade, and some masking paper. All of which can be found at your local hardware store. So I'm going to start off using the large masking tape to cover as much area of the shells first before going in with a smaller masking tape to get the fine edges that we want. Repeat this process all around the gauntlet. So when doing this, you might find some of the edges hard to mask off. That's not an issue, you can come back with some masking tape, squeeze it into the crevice and trim off the excess with an X-Acto blade. Just be careful not to cut your foam. So once we have the top and the bottom trim masked off, you're ready for masking paper. Now that I have the shells completely masked off, I'm ready to hit this with some Rust-Oleum metallic silver. This metallic silver takes about 24 hours to cure, and in my opinion, it's really good. Okay, so now that we're ready to paint, I'm gonna take this outside, I'm gonna have my respirator on, and then I'm gonna hit it with some silver. Since it's a little cold right now, I'm gonna wait about a day and a half before I come back and mess around with this. So here's the gauntlet a day and a half later. And here comes my favorite part. You get to unmask and see what you left behind. As you can see, we did a lot of masking, but here's the gauntlet with just the silver painted. Now the only thing left to do is to paint the shells. I use Liquitex acrylic because they're high quality and very pigmented. I use the Viridian Hue and the Light Green Permanent. I found that mixing the two created the right shade of green that I wanted. Pick your favorite paintbrush and let's get started on these 24 shells. But for me, I'm going to use white for this color variant since this is my fifth gauntlet that I'm making and I wanted to use this for my Harley Quinn. I could go cosplay. Okay, so now set aside about an hour and a half to two hours to paint all 24 shells, and this is just for one gauntlet. So let's get started. So that's the first column, and two coats might be necessary to fully paint the shells. Okay, so now that I have all of the top of the shells painted, the only thing I have to do now is get the edges of the shells painted, which is why this process takes about an hour and a half to two hours to do. And fast forward, I've painted all the edges of the shell. So if you have any unclean edges, that's not too big of an issue. Because we can come back with some black acrylic and just touch those edges up. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. But so just do this for all the edges that need to be touched up. Once you do that, you're basically done painting the gauntlets. Okay, and that concludes part three of Bakugo's Gauntlet. Um, I use Liquitex because that's a uh, good acrylic. What I ended up doing was I ended up spraying it with some red and some blue just for how we play Bakugo gender bend mashup. That's a mouthful. Um, I'm doing that because when I first did the gender bend for the Bakugo, the Harley Quinn was too subtle, so I wanted to put some more uh, Bakugo into the cosplay, into the costume, so I made this gauntlet and the stick of baseball bat. But you can paint that, you can paint the gauntlet any color you want using the same method um, you saw in the video. If you have any questions um, on where to get them, you can get Michaels. I'll have a link to those acrylic paints down below too. If you're new to the channel, make sure you check out my other videos. I have builds on Final Fantasy stuff and uh, My Hero Academia, uh, primarily Bakugo. Uh, if you want to see what happens in between these videos, definitely check me out on Instagram. I know I haven't been posting on YouTube as much just because this last few months. I've been super busy, so uh, I'm trying to catch up with work and then be uh, consistent with my YouTube. So definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like what you saw. Uh, leave a comment down below what other projects you want me to see me do. And uh, definitely follow me on Instagram uh, and shoot me a message there if you have any questions on, on any of my builds or if you want me to, uh, if you want to see me work on uh, any future projects. Other than that, I'll see you guys. Thanks.